The Augusta Free Press cites that every young man, and now woman, needs to know and needs to learn how to tie a tie. In my opinion, clip-on ties are tasteless, juvenile, and unprofessional. You may find yourself watching this video because you've been preparing all week studying your resume for your big job interview, and it's come time to put on your new suit, and you don't know how to tie a tie. You might be a high school student getting ready to go out to prom tonight, and mom or dad don't know how to tie a tie either. Well, as someone who's constantly needed to wear a tie all throughout high school and my young adult life, I believe my experience has allowed me to become a proficient tie attire. Hello, my name is Warren Cook, and today I'll be teaching you how to tie a tie. For today's knot, we'll be doing the four in hand knot. And according to the Real Men Real Style Journal, it lists the four in hand knot as one of the most popular knots to tie a tie. Before we begin the tying process, a few things are needed. One tie, find something that looks good with your outfit and is somewhat of a statement piece. A clean, wrinkle-free collared shirt. If you can find one with collared buttons, that, that will work just fine. Otherwise, if you have one that doesn't have collar buttons, that will work just fine as well. And one more thing, a good set of hands. Before we begin the tying process, let's start off with naming the few components of a tie. This is the fat end of a tie. This is the skinny end of the tie. This is a comparison. There are also two sides to a tie, the flat side and the seam side. You can tell the seam side based on the line running down the middle of the tie. And that line runs all the way through to the other side or the skinny end. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to avoid having this, the seam side of the tie exposed when we have our finished knot. To begin the tying process, make sure you have your shirt on whatever pants and belt you may have be wearing, and that that shirt is nice, clean, and pressed. Start by grabbing your tie. Have your, the fat end in your left hand and the skinny end in your right hand. Take the tie, put it around your neck. Make sure that the seam side is facing down and towards your neck. So you can see there's no seam exposed. This is what it would look like if it was. So we're gonna wanna make sure there's no seam exposed, like so. Take your collar, pull it up. And sometimes there may be a button on the back of your shirt. So just make sure that that is undone before you do that. Button your top button, like so. Once again, make sure that the seam is not exposed. Now an important thing with tying a tie is making sure that the length of your tie, and what I mean by that is where it ends up on the lower half of your body is at an appropriate spot. I like to wear my tie so that the tip here is at the very top of my belt. So like I said, make sure you have your belt and pants on before you start the tying process. That's so it's a lot easier and you don't have to be retying it once you get your pants on. So to begin, let's make sure that the skinny end of the tie is somewhere around the belly button. Now all, all tie side lengths are different, so you're gonna wanna try tying your tie beforehand just to make sure to, make, to see where the edge of the tie ends up retrospect to where your belt is. So, to begin the knot, we're gonna take the skinny end of the tie and put it over the front of the chest. We're gonna take the fat end of the tie and cross it over the skinny end. I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna pinch right here and making this X shape. You're gonna to wanna to leave a little bit of a gap in between your neck and the tie not right here, right at the X. And what we call that is a tie hole. That will come in later, come in handy later. So still holding that, holding the X position of the tie, we're gonna take the fat end of the tie, which is now across and over top of the skinny end, and we're gonna run it underneath the skinny end of the tie. We're gonna take this, take the fat end of the tie, now that it's on our left side of the, our body, and we're gonna run it across, once again, the skinny end of the tie. So to demonstrate that one more time, we have our X position here. We take the fat end of the tie, we run it underneath the skinny end of the tie, and we, then we run it across the skinny end of the tie once more. So now you can see the fat end is going once, twice across the skinny end, and once underneath. So still holding that position, we wanna make sure the seam is not being exposed. 
And in that case, we're good. Now taking the fat end of the tie, we're gonna take our pointer finger like so and put it on the flat side of the tie. And pushing up through the tie hole, the fat end, we're gonna pull through. Still holding on to that, the fat end of the tie, fold it over. We're gonna take the tip of the fat end of the tie and we're gonna push it through the second over that was made earlier. Still holding on, and now I'm gonna let go. So there, now you have a knot. Now it comes time to adjust the tie on the neck. So to make the knot tight, we're gonna to wanna to first grab the fat end of the tie and grab the neck of the tie right here and kind of pull up like so. Now to move the tie up on your neck, we're gonna pull the skinny end and, put, and push the tie up like so. Now you can see here on my tie, I have a nice little dimple and that's just a good effect right here. You can do that just by pushing in on your finger like so. So we still wanna make sure that the tie, there's no seam exposed and to finish our knot, like so, make sure your tie is centered on your neck. We're gonna fold over our collar. You're gonna to want to avoid any sort of exposure of the tie. So if your collar is too low, it might look like that, but it's just a unprofessional look. So we're gonna make sure that that stays like so. We're gonna button our buttons. And sometimes you need to make sure you have the tie like so. You don't wanna have the tie too close to your neck like that because then that scrunches your collar or too far away because it looks a little awkward, but just nice and snug. A few more adjustments and there you go. You now know how to tie a tie. According to the Gentle Manual Journal, wearing a tie can be a sign of professionalism and capability. Now that you know how to tie a tie, you're ready to go out and conquer your business meeting or your prom. So have fun and keep on tying.